What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. I am having some fun with High Level, and I thought, you know what? Let me do an updated tutorial on how to very quickly, very easily set up an email address inside of High Level. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how to get a dedicated domain connected. Uh, I'm also going to show you guys how to properly send emails in high level to make sure you're not hitting the spam folder. And then I'm going to show you an awesome, awesome uh, email warm up service that I've been using for a long time. It works really, really well. And we can integrate it, connect it directly to high level now. Uh, it used to be uh, kind of a pain where we'd have to create our own mail gun accounts, connect that to Warmbox, and then connect that to high level. And it was just kind of, it was very messy. Uh, not to mention you had to have a mailgun subscription as well. Well, we don't need to do that anymore. It's another reason why I wanted to do an updated video here because High Level has come out with so many additional features regarding sending emails. So let's get into it. All right. Uh, first thing that we're going to do is get our uh, dedicated domain set up. All right. So when you're in your sub account, you're going to go to settings and we're going to click on email services here. You can see I already have one set up, but I uh, will just do a test one here. We're going to click on dedicated domain. Uh, and actually, you know what? Before we do that, uh, just one thing, just to make sure you don't forget, go to reply and forward settings and make sure you put your forwarding email address here. Now, whenever you get, uh, like if you ever do get somebody that responds to your emails, you will that will show up in the conversations tab. However, I found it very useful to have it for have those responses forwarded to my own personal email as well. So you can actually email back and forth there. That way you just make sure you don't miss it. So uh, type in your personal email or your notification email, whatever one you check most frequently, make sure you hit enter and then save. All right. So do that first because it's easy to forget to do. All right. Now let's go to dedicated domain. All right. We're going to click add domain. And what's awesome about this is that uh, high level will actually create all of the uh, DNS records for you now, including the DMARC record. So I noticed in my last video, I, I showed you guys how to manually do it inside of GoDaddy. We don't have to do that anymore. Uh, high level takes care of it for us now. That's awesome. So uh, let's do this. Uh, I'm just going to do test email dot. Uh, what's, what's my doing? Millennial wealth creator. Uh, which is my other YouTube channel. If you guys want to check it out, I will link that down below. It's just basically me sharing my wealth building journey as an agency owner. I got some pretty cool stuff on there about infinite banking, real estate, private money lending, all that good stuff. Anyways, uh, let's click on add and verify here. Now, this does take a couple of minutes and you'll need to uh, refresh the page a couple of times, but I'll, I'll show it, I'll show it to you here. Uh, make sure you are logged in to your domain provider. So wherever you uh, uh, purchase your domain, make sure you're logged in. Uh, I always recommend GoDaddy guys. Uh, it's just, it's the best, it's the easiest, the best support, and it integrates with just about everything. All right. So we're going to click on authorized domain. All right. It should, uh, okay. Well, I thought I was logged in, but I guess not. All right. We're going to click connect. And then make sure you click close. Otherwise, sometimes it doesn't work. You see it's, uh, nothing's verified yet. But again, this sometimes takes a minute. So while we're waiting on that, um, you'll notice that uh, I did a subdomain uh, for the email address. I just find it to be easier using subdomains when I'm connecting stuff to high level. So like the actual domain, dedicated domain I use is message.millennialwealthcreator.com. You could do contact. You could do team dot whatever your domain is. Uh, that's just, that's just how I do it. Now, uh, it brought us back here. You'll see here SSL unknown. That means we still need to verify everything. So we're going to click on verify now. All right. And let's click verify domain. We're going to have to uh, probably do this a couple of times. You see how some of them are verified. Uh, so let's go back and do it one more time. It usually works on like the second or third time here. All right, here's the DMARC record as well, which is the one that we used to have to manually create after all of these, uh, but we don't have to do that anymore, which is freaking awesome. Okay, that's what we want. So SSL issued, our domain is now connected, guys. Uh, now there's a couple of things uh, to be aware of, uh, and that, that was the second point that I wanted to cover in this video is how do you actually send emails inside of high level? How do you do it correctly? That way 
You make sure that you're not directly landing in spam. Sometimes it doesn't even send. All right, so watch this. Uh, we're going to, let's, um, let's see if I can copy the whole thing. Basically, we want to copy, any anytime you're sending an email inside of high level, you, you have to use the dedicated domain that you've connected for your email. Otherwise, it's going to go right to spam. Sometimes it might not even work. Let me show you an example. Um, Let's go back here. Let's go to contacts. Uh, hang on one second. OK, so I just pulled out my own test contact here. Um, what happens is when you go to send an email, high level will automatically default to your login email address for high level for, uh, for the from email. You do not want to use that. You need to delete that. You're going to paste in the actual dedicated domain. And then uh, we're going to do, uh, I usually just do info at, info at, there we go. Now it's not uh, giving us an error anymore. Uh, the info part, whatever you put in front of the at symbol, that doesn't matter. You could change that whenever you want. It's the, this right here is what matters. Okay, so you have to be sending, anytime you see a from email field right here, it has to be your dedicated domain. All right, you can do team info, your first name for this part, that part doesn't matter. Now, what I like to do, uh, I've talked about this in a lot of my other high level tutorials, you guys know that I'm a huge fan of custom values. It saves so much time, especially if you end up changing the email address that you want to use in high level, uh, it, it saves a ton of time. So what I'll do is I'll go to settings. And let's go to custom values here. And I will search for from email and you can just create a new custom value here from just name it from email. The value is going to be your actual dedicated domain email address. And anytime uh, you're using like email templates or in your workflows or anything like that, you could just use the from email custom value, put that in the from email fields and it will automatically insert your dedicated domain email address It saves a ton of time in the long run guys it's incredible uh one other uh one other place you can use that uh to to save you some time is if you go if we go to automations there is a tab in settings I'm just going to use this one as an example right here so we're going to go to settings you could do this in all of your workflows i mean most workflows are sending emails so we're going to scroll down and right here sender details you can just put in just paste in your custom value. You can also click on the little tag right here, go to custom values, find your from email custom value. Uh, the from name, I usually just do my first name dash my company name. I do use a custom value for that as well. Make sure you save it. And that's gonna save you a ton of time uh, in the long run, guys, uh, trust me. All right, so uh, I don't, don't wanna save that. All right, so that is, so we've got our domain email address set up and connected. We know how to properly send emails in high level to make sure they actually go through. Now I want to show you a really cool update inside of high level that allows us to connect directly to our email warm-up service. All right, now I'm going to have an affiliate link in the description for this, guys. Uh, if you don't mind going through that link, I would really appreciate it. It does help support the channel. Uh, assuming that you know you found this video, uh, video helpful, it's a great way to support the channel. I appreciate it. So the tool that uh, I've used for years, a very long time and always recommend is Warmbox. It is super cheap. It's only 19 bucks a month uh, for if you're doing just one inbox. Obviously, it's going to be more if you have lots of different email addresses that you're trying to warm up. But this thing is awesome, guys. And we can now connect it directly to high level without having to worry about Mailgun or, or whatever other SMTP server services and stuff. All right. Um, basically, what this does is once you have your email connected, it's going to slowly send emails from their network of email addresses. Uh, it's going to send emails from your your connected domain. OK, and it's going to open those emails automatically. It's going to reply to them. It's going to mark them as not spam. It's going to add the contacts. It will reply to your emails as well. So it's creating all of these trust signals with Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, Outlook, whatever, right? All the main providers. And over time, that really, really helps your email deliverability. It is awesome. I could, I just, I can't recommend it enough. So how do we get this connected? I've actually deleted my other inbox here so I can show you guys how to do this from scratch. But uh, the first thing we need to do is go to settings. We're gonna go back to email services. 
Okay. And let's click on dedicated domain again. All right. I'm actually going to set it up for my primary uh, email right here because I actually want to use uh, Warmbox for it. So we're going to click the three dots and right here, SMTP settings. Okay. Now you see I already have one created, but all you do is create new SMTP user. All right. You're going to uh, put in your email address. Okay. That you're going to be using uh, inside of high level. So mine is info at, and then my subdomain message dot millennial wealth creator.com. So I'm, I just did uh, info right here. Okay. So that'll be the, the login. You could type in whatever you want there. Go ahead and create yourself a password. Uh, maybe write it down, put it in a Google sheet or something like that. All right. And then you're going to click create. That's all you have to do to create the SMTP user. Now this did take me, it did take a few minutes to propagate. So maybe get this created, come back in 10 minutes and then do what I'm about to show you. Cause it wasn't working in the beginning when I first did this, but uh, it's funny, you can see there's uh, emails already being sent and that's because or, um, earlier I was playing around with this and Warmbox was uh, starting to send out emails. Anyways, let's go back to Warmbox. Okay, again, affiliate link in the description. I really appreciate your support guys. All right, uh, once you get signed up, once you're on your dashboard here, all we're gonna do is click on add new inbox. We're gonna go to others right here, add with SMTP. We're gonna click next and we're gonna fill this stuff out right here. All right, let's get rid of that. We're gonna grab the email, the login right here from our SMTP user credentials. All right, we're going to copy that. We're gonna paste this in right here. All right, type in your password. Uh, let's see. <laughs> sure I didn't already forget it. Pretty sure that's it. All right. The host, the SMTP host is going to be right here. SMTP server. We're just going to copy this from high level. We're going to paste that in right there. The SMTP port that worked for me, because they give us three right here. I tried all of them. The, the one that worked was uh, 465. If 465 doesn't work for you, try out the other ones. Again, give it 10 to 15 minutes to propagate as well. That's probably what the issue actually was. All right, so uh, I'm just going to do 465 for now. We're going to choose SSL for the protocol, and the from email is going to be the same thing right here, the our username that we set up. Okay, and we'll click next. Uh, you can check connection. I'm pretty sure this is already going to work, though, because I did this earlier. All right, but you could check the connection, and it'll let you know if, if it's done and good, you know, if it's propagated already. Here we go. <laughs> like, what's this work? This is this is just awesome, man. Uh, high level is just incredible. It's making it, it, it's just making our job so much easier as marketers and business owners. So, uh, with Warmbox, I just I leave pretty much everything on default. They're the experts. I let them do their thing. I don't mess with any of these other things. I'm not saying that you shouldn't check them out, but I just leave it on Grow Progressive. It's most recommended. Uh, it's going to warm up for 45 days, but even after the 45 days, like that's just the minimum, it's going to continue to send those emails in higher and higher frequencies. So you see here, one email sent per day minimum, max is 40 per day, because we don't want to overdo it, obviously. Uh, again, I'm just going by the recommended amount, reply rate. And down here, you can see a chart of the progression of the number of emails that will be sent. You can actually adjust them right here if you want, but again, I'm just, I just let Warmbox do their thing, man. So obviously this is, you know, the, the, the impact on our deliverability for our emails. It's a process over time with something like this, but you know, you give it 30 to 60 days, you're going to be, you should be hitting that inbox, uh, pretty, pretty consistently, you know, as long as you're not sending crappy emails and stuff, there's more to it to getting to the inbox than just this, obviously, but this is just an awesome tool to have in our arsenal guys when it comes to email deliverability and now we sit back and just let Warmbox do its thing how long did that take guys that took like five minutes to get set up and like if you think about the impact let's go back to full screen because we're wrapping up here if you think about the impact of like having really good like like having so many more of your emails actually hitting the inbox like what kind of in, uh, impact will that have on your business right so uh anyways that's it that's how you set up an email address inside of high level for 2024 2025 uh you know i, I make updated videos as uh high level comes out with these new features but hopefully uh, this will be uh what do you call it uh, relevant for the foreseeable future. So I hope it was helpful, guys. If you have any questions, drop some comments down below. If you get stuck on anything, let me know. And I will talk to you in the next one. To your success, Maddie Ice is out.